Hey guys, it's Kimmy. Um, I'm coming to you with another idea. Um, everybody knows I kind of think and I act sporadic, so... <laughs> Anyways, um, so if you've been following my YouTube videos and everything lately, I've really been into doing my part to recycle, doing, um... By trying not to fill up our landfill because it's getting really full and in our state they're trying to find more property for more garbage. And we all know that's not good for the environment or anything. And I know these are recyclable items that can be turned into like another soda can um, for what we're doing today. And it's a um, Dr. Pepper soda can. <laughs> so, um, anyways, what I was thinking and I was looking at it. And I was watching some YouTube videos on how to make, like, your own homemade paper flowers and stuff like that. And I was thinking, well, couldn't you apply the same techniques you use to a paper flower with thin aluminum? And make, like, a cute little aluminum embellishment for a mini album or, like, an altered box or even a scrapbook page, depending on the size you use. And, or even jewelry. Um, there's, there's all sorts of different uh, things you can, um, do for it. So, anyways, so I went to my local craft store, which is Joann's, and I looked around and looked at their punches and everything, and I found these Friskers punches right here, and that's the, the flower shape that I, I picked out, and I thought, well, this would work really good for me. So, I got this size, and then I got the little itty bitty baby one, so, like, you could do, like, little um recycled aluminum charms or whatever for mini albums or whatever so that's what i got from the store and then i thought okay well the edges of aluminum they're sharp so i went by my dollar store and i picked up a package of um nail files that i normally buy anyway for um distressing my edges and stuff like that let me see if i can find you the package to show you but i'm not finding it so i've lost it but okay well, anyways, uh, there's, like, a package of, like, 30 of these for a dollar at my Dollar Tree. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you have a Dollar Tree where you're at or anything. So, um, what I did was, is I cut, I punched out the soda pop can. If you can see, that's the back of the regular soda pop can. And then here is the inside, which is, you know, silver aluminum. And, um, <clears throat> after I punched it out, I took my nail file and I just went around all the edges of the flowers and sanded it to where it was a dull edge. So I don't have to worry about slicing my finger open or whoever I may give it to might cut themselves on it or anything. So it's, it's pretty dull. You could touch it, rub it, everything, and not cut yourself. So after I decided that, okay, and I'm like, okay, well, how am I going to adhere it? How am I going to make it to where it's all together? You could glue it, and I, I went through my mind with this over and over and over again. And then I decided, okay, well... I'm going to attempt to make a scrapbook or mini or tag or whatever I'm going to do. I'm going to try and make it an embellishment. So I was like, okay, well, I grabbed a, a fat-headed um, Making Memories Brad, and the legs are pretty sturdy on it, like the little prongs that open up, and it's a pretty durable, heavy-duty Brad. So anyways, I got that, and then I'm like, okay, well... How do we shape it? How are we going to shape the flower? So, okay, I started playing around with my tools and everything. And I got, um, these are for my Bind It All. It comes in my little Bind It All tool kit. And they're like, what would you call them, Sam? Needle, nose, pliers. And then I got some wire cutters. And then I have this um, Making Memories tool kit right here. And these are where these tweezers came from. And I thought, okay, well, maybe we might need these. And then I got my um, round nose pliers for jewelry making. And these are the tools that um, I'm going to try and use. So, you guys, this is our trial and error video. <laughs> so, okay, anyways, um, I figured, okay, we're going to have to do, put the top of the flower on first. So, I want the silver to be seen and not the um, the colored backing of the, uh, the pop can. And so, I'm going to put this on upside down because we're going to fold it upwards. And once you do that, you won't see it. And then... These are going to be our layers that are going to fold. So we're going to put the silver side up because we're going to see the silver side. And you kind of just, um, what would you call it, like off-center the flower onto the brad. And, and that's how you put it on there. Just off-center each petal, like each layer. And then you just close the brad really tight. 
to where you got like a little aluminum flower, which is cute all by itself. But then um, I was going to make it a rose. So anyways, the first layer you want to take and sort of like bend upwards. I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Can you check for me? If you can see where I, what I'm doing. Okay, so you just kind of bend the petal upwards. And then I got these round um, pliers, round headed or tipped pliers, whatever. And you kind of just take and you pinch it around the side of one of the flowers to kind of make like a little cone. I don't know. Can you, can you see what I did? Like pinch it around the cone and you kind of push it and you tweak it and you get it to where it's like the center of a flower. And then you roll the edges in to sort of make that, you know, that rosebud center spiral. Um, and this is going to be the center of the flower. And you kind of just, like you would roll your, um, like 20 gauge wire or whatever to, you know, make like loops and stuff. It's sort of like that. And then you go to the one, not next to it, but right across from it and bend that one up also and kind of push it towards the center. And let me see, I think we need to... Okay, where's my scissors? Okay. So, okay, we gotta do some tweaking because, yeah, like I said, this is the first time. It needs to come up closer, so I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut, like, little slats in between so I could get this piece right here closer to the other piece. And then you kind of just bend that one like you did with your pliers, but in, like, a cone shape. But don't bend it around itself like I did the other one. Because you're going to bend this one around the first one you did. And kind of make, like, I think maybe I should have cut the first one a little too, like, a little slit on each side. Okay. Because it looks like it needs to go closer to the center. There we go. Okay, so I just cut little slits right here of on the punch. So I'm, a, I'm thinking we need to do it with all of them. Like, you would make one of the Tim Holtz flowers. You know how you cut the slits on there? Okay, well, anyways... So here we go. We got this one rounded around that one. And then we're going to take and go to not the one next to it, but the one right next to that one. Okay, and we cut this little on this one. Yeah, okay. So we're going to do the same thing with that one that we just did with the last one and kind of just make it a cone shape and pinch it around itself, like around the pliers. I don't know if you can see, like, see how I just pinched it? And then you're going to push it into the next flower, okay? Or the, the, the last petal. And then we're going to skip the one that we've already folded and then we're going to come and just kind of work in, you know, and then we're going to pinch and fold this one again also. So that way we're taking that first one we did and kind of making it the center of our flower. We're going to wrap all the way around, okay? So there we go. We got our first center to it. And then we're going to just take this last one to that first punch out of the flowers and we are going to just bend that one also and push it up there. And, and that is going to be how the center of our rose is going to start. I don't know if you guys can see. And there is the center of the rose. Okay. Now um, we're going to kind of take kind of take the next layer of flowers that we punched out and kind of sort of push it and cup it upwards. Kind of give it, like, so it's folding into that as in a layer. And kind of just kind of give it a crunch upwards. And then we're going to take our round tip pliers to where it kind of just all folds into there. But instead of leaving it like that, like a rosebud, we're going to take our round tip pliers and we're going to kind of push and give it a crease in the center because this is our second layer. And we're going to push it in, but not as much as we did the first time, just to give it a little indentation, a little indentation mark right there. And then we're going to take the edge, and we're going to take, and, oh, well, I'm going <laughs> to, okay, so forgive me, guys, this is, like, from my first real tutorials, so, okay, and then you're going to kind of just roll it ever so slightly backwards, and give it, like, that, you know, rose petal look on there, and you're going to do that with the entire layer of flower. So we're going to just kind of give it a push in the center on the next one. We'll keep going. Push and then a roll. Let's see if I can find that one without bending the wrong petal. 
and just kind of tweak it outwards a little bit to where we got that next layer. Okay. And you just keep working with it until you get something that you're you're liking until it's looking like, you know, a flower or a rose in this case. Like, I'm assuming you can maybe do this with, like, other types of flowers that you can make. And then so, anyways, we're going on to the next um, piece of the petal out of the punch out. And you pinch it again. Okay, let me see if I can show you this. Sorry, guys, I'm right-handed and my camera's on the left side, so... <laughs> Um, okay, so you pinch it like that, and then you take your little round tip pliers right here on the edge. Let me see if I can get it close. Like on the edge, right there. Oh, can you see it? I hope you can. Okay, so, and then you just roll it out. You see what I'm doing? You just roll it backwards. And you do it with the other side. Okay, and so see how our rose is starting to form? And then we do the last petal the same exact way. So you got five petals that are upwards but kind of rolling outwards at the same time. So, and you just roll the back of the petal. My hands are so shaky. I shouldn't have drank so much coffee today. <laughs> so anyways, okay, so there we go. And there we go. We got the first like, layer of our rose started. Okay, and then now we're on the last um, what do you call it, petal or the bottom of the rose. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our pliers. I'm thinking we should snip these ones just slightly. Um, on each one, just so it could get closer. Okay, and we're going to bend it up like we did the last ones, but this one is going to be totally different type of bending for to give the, the petal creases. So, we got it all bunched up, facing upwards, sort of looking like, like a, a lily pad flower type thing. And then, we're going to take and just in the center kind of fold it backwards a little bit just give it that little crease and then we're going to put a crease down the center like we did before but a slighter crease and this time we're going to push to the center again and then we're going to do the roll again and you just roll the edges and you just keep going get the little crease to where it's facing outwards a little bit at the bottom right here you see and then you take the center and you take your two fingers right there and you kind of just indent a little bit into the metal and then you take and you roll the edges and I thought this would be so cool like you can use your Adirondack inks and color it um, before you punch it or well after you punch it but before you start con um, connecting your flower pieces with the brad or whatever you're using to connect it and um, it would be whatever color you want. You can use your metal mixatives. Uh, you can use some stays on ink because it's, you know, permanent and everything. So, anyway, so what we do is we kind of bend out a little bit at the bottom, but not a lot, just a gradual bend. And then you take at the center, push upwards with your fingers around the little round tip pliers, and you push upwards. But just to leave a little indent to kind of give it like that petal crease, you know? And then you roll the tips to give it that, you know, curly rose petal look. And you just roll each tip. And then we got two more to go, and then we're almost done, you guys. And then so, okay, here we go. We're going to bend the tip, or the cent at the bottom, bend the bottom, wrap around the tip at the center, push with your two fingers forward, and then roll the petals backwards and give it a crease and there you go and this stuff molds so easy there's like no um like strain whatsoever like on your wrist your hands or anything so you're not fighting with it it's it's really really soft metal so 
And then you just push at the center after you bend here at the bottom of the petal. You push at the center with your fingers and kind of wrap it. And then you take and just roll the tip. And here is my first Recycled Wednesday idea. So I hope this, you know, you can make them smaller, um, a little bit tighter than I made it. I like to look like it was blooming open. Um, you can use some E6000 um, when you're done to kind of help it so it don't spin around on the brad like this one's doing and keep it tighter up here at the bud if you want it closed. Um, you can color it with your metal mixatives. You know, totally make this your own. And you can say you made it and it's your own little, you know, so. So, watch for my Recycled Wednesdays. Um, I have already got an idea planned up for the next one. I've already found something that I want to recycle. And that's just been something that I've been doing lately before it goes in the recycle bin or in the garbage. I look at it and I say, can I do something with this? Can I make it something beautiful and a piece of art? And so I looked at my soda can and I seen this and um, this out of it. And so that was my idea and you guys went along with me through the entire process of you know seeing how I think and what I do and everything so anyways um I hope you guys like it and I will see you guys in the next video ta-ta